What's going on YouTube and all my college football fans? Listen, it's your boy Gaming Champ 23. We're back with another Dynasty video, guys and girls. Listen, we got week six action in the rain, actually. And the big thing is a major question. Can my defense come up big in this rain game? You know, you, you're taking on a Houston team that's dynamic offensively. I mean, they got weapons and we're still we're, we're still trying to rebuild this program. Um, it's it's going to take it's going to take some time. And with the struggling offense and starting a, a true freshman quarterback, I mean, it's been brutal. But the defense has been playing pretty solid all season. So in this rain game, we got to lean on the defense. And you guys probably see the record. It is showing three and two. Probably say, well, hey, how did you get to week six? Well, you know, sometimes in the online dynasty, you have to take force wins. And apparently the guys couldn't match the schedule. Um, they had other things going on. So we had to end up taking a force win um, and got two victories. So we'll take it. We, we need all the wins that we can get. Without further ado, I, I'm not even going to hold it. Let's get into it. Guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you like this style of content, subscribe. Listen, it doesn't cost you a thing. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. We got week six action in the rain. TCU versus Houston. See you guys inside. Welcome back inside, guys and girls. And listen, I got to say, Dynasty Mode has been a pure joy to play. That was sticky right there. This mode, and we're going to talk about the game, of course. This mode is so fun. It offers a, a different way to play the game compared to playing um, Road to the Playoffs, uh, Road to the uh, College Football Playoffs, the online mode. And... Dynasty is it's different and, and there's a few things that you really do have to uh, Of course, we know recruiting is important But you really have to pay uh, play rather to your team's strengths and you know right now I don't have the personnel that I want to run on defense um, Offense I do have a scrambling quarterback, but he really can't throw and so trying to navigate those areas it's a challenge in dynasty mode, especially when you're playing in a 32 man league and other users man they they got dudes and as you see right there he's threatening already in the rain and i thought that should have been a clear as day interception and you see my facial expression one of the things about dynasty mode too is it's not getting down or getting too high or getting too low in the game because the game has like ebbs and flows and sometimes you want to land the first punch but sometimes the other team just comes right down the field and throw it on you essentially and run it right down your throat and you may find yourself down um like i'm doing right now where he just jukes out my lineman and so we get the ball we're down six to zero he missed the extra point actually and what we're running right now is Carolina's uh, spread offense. It's something that I started to feel a little comfortable with. I wanted to try to take advantage of my QB. And that's right. They're just, you know, me just not making a good throw. And I'm having to punt. So right here, the defense makes a huge play in the rain. And we get a fumble recovery. Number 57 set that up right there. That was all him making a play. And so right here, uh, we're in an excellent position to score, right? And we, we hit the flat. Um, and we try to do a little juke move, but that doesn't uh, fake him out. And right here, we got a little crosser with the tight end. You know, just trying to find something that my quarterback, the true freshman, that he's comfortable with. Um, the offensive line is okay that I have, and I probably should have gave it right there to the bubble. And so right now, it's third and goal. Again, it's like, when you don't do anything good, it's a struggle on offense. And right here, we're going to try to run the ball, right? We're just going to run the ball. It's, it's Look, we're at the one-yard line, and we can't and we can't get in there. We can't get in there, guys. It's been the story of the season. Offensively, it just hasn't been good at all. But right here, the defense makes a play. That's why I said, you know, offense-wise, I am going to not be able to do anything. I just know it because we haven't really played good. All season right here, we get a little jet action. We're trying to find anything on offense. We want to simplify it, keep it simple. 
as much as possible again we have we're trying to run spread elements try to put our guys in space but you know it's it's it's, it's not there but you got a quarterback that can run that's a great equalizer right there and right here there's nothing open and i thought that i could lead it over him and i'm playing so bad defense wise we're playing good and you can hear me just say that and right here he tries to get a little cute with the reverse again number 57 does this job that's what that's what we want him to we want him to force it back inside so we did what we needed to do right there and he had a lot of bubble um screens and elements he could really run the ball too um his quarterback was dynamic of course and that's the thing about this college it's 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 like hey if you get a stop that's a win man and and that's and that's what we did right here because it's tough to start to stop rather all these spread offenses and things such as that so we get the ball back we dodge a bullet we're down six and two we get a little sticky right there with cook cook is amazing he's played pretty solid for me all season the true freshman quarterback he, you know we take some growing pains with him and we get a little sticky with him right there we pick up the first down it's first and ten and cook has a good uh the offensive line just just blocked really good right there and right here we do alternate running backs just so the wear and tear uh doesn't you know impact my players but you know i'll be honest with you this was a tough game right here and you know when you're playing in the rain you know some of you guys are, are you know if they're mental oh my god what a run through by sanders right there you know sometimes you know if the guys don't have the good mental abilities um the weather can um affect them but my god when you talk about dot that's a dot that was a dot and you love to see it man you love to see the true freshman get some confidence man that's what that's what this game is all about is finding finding your groove on offense you know defense like i said there's not been a game where there's been madden where there's been um i don't even care with all pro you know um there's never been a game that i haven't been able to play you know solid defense defense is I'm, I'm pretty much not unless I'm playing against somebody that is like like Peyton Manning level with making reads I'm gonna be able to hold my own defensively and right there we almost get a pick I tried to I was switch stick in this game however I didn't realize I think this was a glitch this has now been fixed of course um about the switch stick it doesn't save and so it, I was thinking it was supposed to not to be no delay but it was actually on like slight delay and that makes a big difference especially when you're trying to like switch and click on um and right here we decided to go to a power set and if sanders had any speed he would have been gone he would have took that to the house but don't worry we got some recruits that are coming in that's going to change the game man i'm so excited for year two I'm, i know we're still on we, uh, year one but i'm so excited for year two we got some recruits guys we got some playmakers that's going to be coming to TCU that's going to change some things around here. Because right now, we got good wide receivers, but we don't have the explosive running back element that I like. I like to be able to do my read options, my uh, my stretch, my, um, you know, my uh, 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 speed options and things such as that, and get these guys going, um, putting them in space and let them go at it. You know, but right now we got more power running backs, which is cool. We'll do the power running game out of pistol. We'll do some dives. And right here, that's, I mean, nothing wrong with that, right? Um, and so, triangle was wide open right there. I didn't get it to him. But when you got a quarterback, you know, that can run, it changes things. And that could have been deadly. That could have been real deadly as far as it being a pick. I, I, I think what, I, what I'm doing is the reason why i had some difficulty with offense because i've been going back and forth between playbooks I, the, the one of the biggest dynasty tips that i would tell you is pick a playbook pick your scheme and just run with it like don't don't switch playbooks the more you switch playbooks you 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 don't really know what you're doing on offense it's hard to learn all these different plays and right there um we get an rpo for the touchdown so Going in the half, we're up 686. We get the ball possession. We get the ball um, right here. And what we're trying to do is just go ahead and I feel like defensively, because I'm playing so good, 
I feel like if we can get a score right here, he tried to bait me right there. Um, that would have been a big time intercession for him. Um, but I feel like if we X was wide open, I gotta get it. I gotta get it to him sooner. I'm late on my reads. You know why you're late on most times? Why you're late on your reads is because you really don't know your playbook. And that's why I say, again, I'll go back to that dynasty tip that I just gave you. You know, keep your playbooks. Like, don't switch a lot of playbooks. And that was just nasty right there. My number 11. He's getting sticky out there in the rain. Again, you got to run the football um, battle right there. See, he's a workhorse, man. But one of the things I realized is that Man, the three three five is a really good defense on this game. A lot of people in our league actually play um, that style of defense. And, um, yeah, right there, we just try to lock it up. And it looked like it was there. And I don't know why I locked it, why I put so much hang time on it. it nevertheless, the three three five defense is really good. Um, if you know what you're doing, uh, I'm more of a four, two, five, three, four type of player. Um, but that three, three, five is dangerous, man, because sometimes you don't know whether or not if the safety is in a deep half or, um, outside third and that, and that can throw you off, man. It can throw you off big time. And right there, the switch stick did cause, um, that penalty right there for him to throw it away inside of the box. Um, I don't know what I'm doing right there with my user. And it's fourth and five, and um, he's going to have to punt. I, I condensed the video down just to try to really uh, show some of the most important things in the game, um, just to try to cut it down just a little bit um, in regards to that. So I hope you guys like that style. So I think the last video was about 21 minutes. I felt like that was just a little too long um, as far as just keeping you guys' attention properly. Um, and right here, we throw, we threw a pick, man, and... You know, like I said, his accuracy, his deep accuracy is like 68, I believe. But at the same time, I can't throw passes like that. I have to play smarter. Um, you know what I'm saying? And right here, you saw me switch stick right there. And I was just like, oh, I was there, but I wasn't. And right here, we, we try to bait him in. This is just a quarterback making a play, man. You know, this is just a quarterback making a play when you have ability. I can't, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm rolling my eyes getting mad, but at the same time, if my quarterback had ability like that where he could just, um, you know, break tackles, I would break sacks, you know. I would be happy too. Good job right there by number 91. Um, this Houston team is tough, though. Um, they're really good, and again, I don't know what I'm doing. You can see me kind of struggling right there. I think, it's, like I said, because of the switch stick, it's on delay. So I'm thinking it's going to be snap, 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 and it's not. And so it threw me off. And I'm and I'm was like, I know I checked the game and beforehand and it said, you know, no delay, but it's a glitch. And so he scores, and now we got a ball game. You know, that interception, that turnover that I had really, really hurt me. So it's 16 to 13, man. And um the pressure is on. I gotta make plays. Like I, I cannot lose this game. This is a huge game. Um, both teams are three and two, and I need this W. And so, you know, we're going to run the ball right here with Cook. And Cook makes a play, and we get a first down. You know, we need offensive line help, too. We got some good recruits coming for the offensive line. And like I said, season two, for me, it's going to be the season that really lets me know where I'm at in the league. Like, season one, it, it was – I knew I wasn't going to win a whole lot with season one. I knew that my record currently, you know – that could have been a fumble, by the way. I knew my record where it stays right now is – it's probably good for where I'm at. Like, with the talent level that I got, you got to think about it. You know, we're going against the Bamas of the world. We're going against the, the Ohio States. Those rosters are stacked. My roster isn't stacked. We have some key pieces, like I like to tell people. We got some key pieces, but our roster isn't stacked. And, you know, like I said, this game right here was, man, to only give up 13 points right now in the rain, that, that's a W. But... We, we, our backs are against the wall, and right here we get a big time pick. We get a big time pick right here, and listen, you can hear me talking. You better not walk me down. You better not walk me down. Thank you, man. We needed that badly, badly. We needed that badly, guys and girls. And right here we get a good tackle. We get a big time tackle. He's got to hurry up. He's got to go no huddle. 
Time is running out for him. His running back is wide open right now, but he misses him. Sometimes the errant throws will be there. And we get another pick. Another one. We get another pick. And listen, folks. That right there might just do it. That right there. The defense step up big. We went 44 to 13. See you guys on my next video.